What's going on y'all? It's Mason Blaisdell, your Austin real estate agent. And today I've got a cool one because we are in Bastrop, which I think is probably one of the most underrated towns in the entire Austin area. If you've never gotten off of 290 and come into historic Bastrop, you know, places like Calf Coffee, where we're grabbing a drink this morning, is really underrated. You gotta come check it out. But today we're gonna take a look at the Colonies Acreage section, which is actually where my parents lived until they got relocated to the Fort Worth area. It is such a great value because being in Bastrop, you're close to a historic town with really cool things to do. You know, river of course comes through here, but also you've got these big, beautiful trees that a lot of the rest of the Austin area doesn't have. Um, and the acreage section in particular of the colony, I think really offers a tremendous value for what you pay if you're looking for a home site that's got some space and some privacy to it. So we're gonna jump in the car, take the short drive down to the colony here from the center of Bastrop and show you around this fantastic community Community, everything it's got going on, what it's like to actually live there, and why I like it so much. Now, like I mentioned in the intro, I want to talk about what it's actually like to live here because if you are looking into acreage home site communities, there's honestly not that many, at least in that sub $1 million price range around the Austin area. And this one really stands out because not only is it really well established, it's also in Bastrop, which is really an up and coming town. SpaceX is literally like over those trees. It's really, really close to here. And that's been one of the biggest points of growth for the colony in particular. You know, so my parents moved here I want to say it was 2013 um, and of course they don't live here anymore they're in the Fort Worth area but loved it and back when they moved here this was a pretty small and fairly sparse community there were a whole lot of lots that had not been built on yet um, you know the growth hadn't really caught up of course with some of the big companies that have moved out to Bastrop recently uh, X was announced they're moving their headquarters here a lot has changed but changed for the better in my opinion because it's made Bastrop so much more like usable so many more amenities have come here so many more restaurants and grocery stores and those kind of things have started to explode here of course the colony also has another section outside of this gated acreage part um, with more your normal you know production builder type of homes as well so that's really exploded but this acreage home site in particular section, the estates section of the colony does have its own amenity center, something that is really cool. They have a junior Olympic swimming pool. So if you like to swim laps, this is the perfect place for you. Of course, a playground, there's trail systems that walk, run all the way through the neighborhood. It's a really great community center. They do have an office for the HOA on site. Um, they try to run events here throughout the year. Like it just is a really community based culture. So if that's something that you're looking for, maybe you've got kids that you're looking for, uh, you know, community for when you relocate here, this is a really great community for it. Now, of course, as we started off this video too, we're really close to Bastrop. It takes about eight minutes or so to drive from the center of town out to here. So you're gonna have things like your HEB very close. Um, of course, Walmart is in there, Goodwill. Everybody waves at you here, I love it. But anyhow, all of your daily shopping things, your Starbucks, your coffee shops, all are literally less than 10 minutes from here. It's so convenient. And then we are far enough close to Austin that a lot of the typical 71 traffic that you typically face, we're kind of beyond that on the Austin side. And then they've built a couple of overpasses as you get close to 130 now that avoids a few of the stoplights. It's actually really easy to get to Austin, at least significantly easier than it was when my parents first moved here um, into this neighborhood, which is really cool. So if you commute to Austin or if you're high and you go a few days a week, this is not horrible. It's really not dreadful to get into town. Now I wanna talk some hard numbers because that is one of the most appealing things, at least it was to my parents when they moved out here to the colony, um, is just how much, not only do you get for your money in terms of the housing itself, mm -hmm. but our tax rate here, at least as of this year, as of the time of recording this video in October 24, is 1.53%. You know, one of the biggest complaints I deal with from my relocation buyers is just the reality of how higher property taxes are in Texas compared to a lot of other states around the country. This neighborhood has one of the lowest tax rates in the entire Austin area because we're outside of city limits, so you're not paying some city taxes. And then some of the ESDs, you know, I can go for, further into property taxes in another video or call me and I can explain it a little bit more. But some of the ESDs, there's no you know big mud tax here, for example. All of these things combine together 
together make it really nice to live here. HOA at the time of recording this is $140 a month as well, so not bad at all, especially considering the amenities here and the quality of the amenities. They really, truly do a great job. Now, I wanna talk housing because housing here in the colony is uh, a little bit interesting. So you can actually buy some lots. There's a couple of them for sale right now. You're average lot is about one acre plus or minus my parents actually had a little bit bigger one because it was pie shaped um, but all of them are going to be plus or minus an acre up to two and in this community you can buy your lot you can bring your own builder of course it's subject to hoa approval and all of those things of course um, and then you know things like detached garages are allowed here you'll see a ton of residents have those it does have to match the house you know there's requirements to it we can go more into it if you want to give me a shout and, and we can talk about specifics for it but there's a lot of flexibility here, which is really, really cool. Of course, there are a good bit of resale homes. You know, these homes were really started in that early 2000s. So you're gonna see those all the way through some new construction that was built in 2024, which offers a wide array. There's also a wide array of sized homes in here too. You know, one of the complaints that I hear from folks who want to have a little bit more elbow room, they love the idea of a one acre home site is, Builders tend to only build big homes on big lots. There are actually single story homes around 2,000 square feet that you can get here in the colony. And again, those are gonna be right in the $600,000 range, which is an awesome value. I mean, it's almost untouchable for anything else around the Austin area for a one acre site in a community like this. Um, at the same time though, there are some larger homes in here. If you want some more space for your family, maybe you work from home, you can get houses all the way up to the 4,000 square foot range. Um, and of course, buy a lot and build even a little bit bigger than that. Other little things you'll notice too throughout the community, every home has a little bit of its own style. You know, this is not a typical production builder type of neighborhood. So you're gonna see some more Spanish style. You'll see a little bit more contemporary, you know, hard lines with some of the new builds. You'll see a lot of metal roofs, for example. I love a metal roof, especially the charm of it when it's raining outside, just, you know, hearing it, not loud of course because they've done really great jobs with insulation these days but you know you'll see a lot of pool casitas out here people really make them all their own every house has its own character the last house that i sold in here had a really cool water feature that went all the way through it like there's a lot of uniqueness to the homes out here which is really really special and something that a lot of you guys look for and it's really hard to find that in this kind of price range these days because everything you know builders just stamp them out everything looks the same. Now, one last thing I want to touch on because this is a big question with acreage site communities, um, utilities. Now, electricity, obviously you have electric here, um, but water is also supplied uh, by a private water company here in town. So you're not on well water, which does make that part really easy. Um, but every site does have its own septic. So that's one less thing to pay for. You know, septic's very easy to maintain overall most of my folks really like it and then a lot of the homes my parents house included and the last house that i sold in here um, if you want a gas stove you will use your own propane tank um, it's very easy most of these you know couple hundred gallon propane tanks will last two years there's services that'll come and just fill them up with a little meter that they put on it to tell when it's down super easy to live with um, and a lot of people do that to be able to have it now, if you're looking into the colony, if you are looking for an agent to work with you, you know, whether you're comparing the colony to maybe Double Eagle Ranch just down the road from here, or maybe some of the ones in Leander and Georgetown that offer those acre home sites, someone who really knows this stuff well and can help guide you through the process, I would love to be that real estate agent of choice to work for you, to make you confident, guide you through the process and get you the right house for you and your family. I'd love to be that for you. Reach out, my personal contact info is on the screen and down below. Thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful to you and I'll see y'all next time.